Welcome to Code Corner with Katie. Let's see what's on Thinking Man's mind today. What does one motion egress mean? Another great question. One I get all the time. I'll be basing my answer using references from IBC 2015. Other editions are similar. Always consult your state and local codes as well. One motion egress is a little bit of a misnomer. Let's take a look at how the code language reads. For door operations, except as specifically permitted by this section, egress doors shall be readily openable from the egress side without the use of a key or special knowledge or effort. And this one, the unlatching of any door leaf shall not require more than one operation. We'll take a look at a few examples of one operation, just turning a lever handle, a mortise lock that has a deadbolt function built in where you can retract the deadbolt with one motion at the same time as the latch bolt. Turning a thumb piece on a deadbolt is one operation as long as it's push-pull. And another example of turning a piece on a deadbolt. Pushing on the pad or bar of an exit device, one operation. And exit devices come in different shapes and sizes. Or pushing or pulling on a hospital latch. The motion of pushing or pulling the door open does not count as part of the unlatching operation, and it wasn't meant to be. Here's an example of what it looks like to not unlatch the door with one operation. This deadbolt does not retract with the latch bolt. And in the picture of Big Bang Theory, the separate deadbolt and the doorknob below would require two operations, one to unlock the deadbolt and one to turn the handle. And that's not permitted unless by exception. The IBC is an exceptional code and there are many exceptions to this on singles and pairs of doors. The owner often focuses on security and so do we, but we also need to maintain our focus on life safety. The codes are ever evolving and as threats change in our world, we must adapt without sacrificing either. Finding that balance between life safety and security is what I like to call safe security. For more information and continuing education opportunities, please visit Osavlo Academy by clicking on the link in the comments below. Please click like and subscribe to this channel. You can follow me on Twitter at Art Consultant and or connect with me on LinkedIn for updates. You can send code questions to me at katherine.flower at asaabloy.com. Thanks for joining me in the Code Corner today. My name is Katie Flower, and my goal is to help you achieve safe security in the built environment.